Turns out the FIA can bend the rules, just not for Americans. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Yeah, turns out if you want the FIA to bend the rules, well, just don't be American. It's that simple. Because on Friday morning, the FIA presented, I don't know, example 847, why they don't like Americans, when they approved Kimmy Antonelli, the 17-year-old, to participate in Formula One race weekends this year before his 18th birthday in August. So now remember back to 2022, I know, far away time. Colton Herta asked for an exemption when Toro Rosso wanted to sign him up to put him in an F1 car to race in Formula 1. He had not amassed enough super license points at the time. He had 32 out of the 40 that were needed to get the super license to participate in Formula 1. He was denied. And essentially, we were just told, rules are rules. Can't break the rules for this. Well, now, because I guess Toto Wolf asked nicely, uh, they decided to bend the rules. Toto wants everyone to follow the rules, which uh, he was right. Abu Dhabi 2021, they should have followed the rules. But now, well, you know, we can bend the rules because uh, we need this kid to get some experience, which is laughable. Because right now, you can't tell me that Kimi Antonelli is more along in his racing career, more mature, more experienced than what Colton Herta was when he asked for his super license exemption two years ago. Now, I know, age difference, uh, the age limit question, as well as the super license, those are two different topics here. But they're kind of one and the same when you get down to it, because it's still asking for an exemption based off of experience and maturity at this point. So the FIA deemed that this will now be a case-by-case basis for 17-year-olds who, as they say, quote, consistently demonstrated outstanding ability and maturity in single-seater formula competition. Okay, well, Kimi Antonelli is half a season into Formula 2, has no podiums, and now we're deeming him good enough to go participate in Formula 1 race weekends. Meanwhile, Colton Herta, an IndyCar Series winner, IMSA winner, Euro Formula winner, Indy Lights winner, won in basically everything he's ever been in, just couldn't get an exemption because he didn't have eight arbitrary points to get a super license. It's laughable. And the whole super license formula is stupid at this point because it was instituted to keep people out of Formula One that were just going to buy a ride, which I can get I can get behind that. It hasn't necessarily stopped them. Uh, so there's, people are certainly still buying rides that probably should not be in Formula One because they had a decent F2 or F3 season. And honestly, that's where the super license system is broken at. Because right now, if you win an IndyCar championship, you get 40 super license points. Cool. You can go race in Formula One if you want to. Well, if you finish second, third, fourth on down, you can't. You have to go and try again. In Formula Two, if you finish first, second, or third, you get 40 points. So you can automatically go. So in a weak year in Formula 2, you can get guys that are going to go up and be able to race in Formula 1 even though they aren't actually that good. Or they can hang around long enough and amass 40 points over that three-year period and be able to go. So yeah, I don't necessarily love it because when you look at it, fourth place in IndyCar actually gets less super license points than fourth place in Formula 3, and that's absolutely bonkers to me because IndyCar is a much more competitive series, a much harder series to actually win in than, honestly, both of the other two series, Formula 2 and Formula 3. So the whole super license system needs to be completely reworked. Obviously, the age limit is the max for stop and rule. When he debuted at 17, everyone was like, eh, don't necessarily love that. So then it was 18. But now it's 17 as long as you're exceptional and part of probably a big program. And also, I'm going to assume, not American. It's just a long-running example, another example, and a long-running list, rather, of just things that don't go the Americans way in the eyes of the FIA, but then they'll go ahead and do it for a European based driver or somebody that's just, well, not from America. So for Colton Herta, it's unfortunate that he's kind of thrust back into the spotlight here because he is definitely talented enough to be in Formula One. He's more talented. Everyone's like, he's not even more talented than Logan Sargent. Okay, you're just a casual that has never watched any motorsports outside of Formula One because Colton Herta is exceptionally talented and could easily compete in that Formula One grid especially given the right car, which will certainly hold the best of them back. IndyCar, again, I can tell most of the people in the comments, especially on Twitter, uh, don't watch IndyCars. They have no idea how the championship actually works or how competitive the series actually is because they're like, well, he can't even win an IndyCar. Well, there's a lot that goes into into that. But again, we'll just let the casuals continue to have their little casual thoughts over there. But for Colton Herta, it's unfortunate because he should have been a Formula One driver by now. He should be driving for Toro Rosso or Alpha Tauri, whatever you want to refer to it as. I know I keep referring to it as uh, Toro Rosso. <laughs> uh, go back in the day with them. So, but Kimi Antonelli, maybe the kid is exceptionally talented, right? We haven't seen it in Formula Two. He's been mid at this point. 
but he has amassed enough super license points in F4 competition to make the jump straight from F4 to Formula 1. That's actually the bigger issue here. Forget about the age limit and the super license system as a whole. The super license system is broken because you shouldn't be able to jump straight from Formula 4 to F1. Few people can do it. Max can do it. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen can do it. You shouldn't be able to amass that many super license points to be able to make that jump. So he didn't even need to race in F3 or F2 this year. It was just the next part of the ladder system. I mean, the kid really could have gone from Formula Regional Europe Championships straight into Formula 1, which is bonkers. That shouldn't happen at all. So at the end of the day, the super license system is broken and the FIA's governing system is essentially broken. Because if you're going to make exemptions for this, then why can't you make exemptions for that? Essentially, this is all just an arbitrary licensing system at this point. So give Colton Hurd his super license. Give Pato Award his super license. Because at this point, it doesn't matter. You can't tell me that an F4 championship, a regional F4 championship, is worth more than an IndyCar championship. Somebody called Kimi Antonelli a world champion. And I'm like, you're not the world ch-. That's like when the World Series happens and they're like, oh, we're champions of the world of baseball. All right. Well, congrats. You beat the teams in North America. and Well, in America plus Toronto. Woo. Big deal. That's the same thing here. Oh, you beat everybody in Europe. Well, congratulations. It's a, t- it's a tough championship. I'm not going to take that away from him. But it's not a world championship. It's not even as competitive as IndyCar at this point. Not as hard as IndyCar. So at the end of the day, everything about the system is just broken. And Colton Herta should be given a super license. And I'm glad that Alexander Rossi and other drivers have kind of spoken out about it today because it's just another example of a European-born driver, base driver, national driver, getting an exemption and getting different treatment than what an American driver would get. And it's unfortunate because, again, America has plenty of drivers that could go over and compete in Indi- or in Formula One. Rules are rules. That's what we were told. So let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.